Good morning, Dover. I want to welcome you to this morning's worship service. Thank you so much for coming. Yeah. Hello. Hello. Brandy. There we go. Good morning, everyone. It's so good to see each and every one of you today. Thank you for coming to be a part of our worship service. You know, God created us for community. And that's what we experience just a little bit on a Sunday morning when we come together. And I'm very sorry to say, if I may have your attention, you are stuck with Tim and I forever. Because <laughs> we'll know you in heaven, and that's just the way it is. We're family today. So, and you're stuck with each other. So just look around and say, really? And say, oh, thank you, Lord. What the blessings abound. <laughs> Would you stand with us today as we begin our time of worship? And would you just bow your heads as you just uh, ask his, uh, he's already here, but may we become aware of his presence because wherever two or more are gathered, he's already there in the midst. So, Lord, we're so grateful that you are here with us today. Thank you for the loving God that you are. Thank you for the loving, faithful, heavenly Father that you are today and every day. Thank you that your mercies are new. Thank you that when we're sick, you bring healing to us. Thank you that you never leave or forsake us. You pursue us. You forgive our sins. You extend mercy to us. And the list can go on. But I'm just grateful to stand here today with these dear people in front of us and this platform with this team. Lord, may you be highly exalted in our praises. May we sing for the audience of one. May we leave here loving you more and deeper because we spent time with one another, hearing the word and singing. And the church said, amen. Amen. Darkness tries to roll over my bones. And sorrow comes to steal the joy I know. When brokenness and pain is all I know, oh, I won't be shaken. Oh, I won't be shaken. My fear doesn't stand a chance when I stand in. Your love, my fear doesn't stand a chance when I stand in your love. My fear doesn't stand a chance when I stand in your love. Shame no longer has a place to hide. I'm not a captain to the lies. I'm not afraid to leave my past behind. Oh, I won't be shaken. Oh, I won't be shaken. My fear doesn't stand a chance when I stand in your love. My fear doesn't stand a chance when I Every chain, your 
today. I'm excited to be here. I hope you are too. What love could remember no wrongs we have done. Omniscient, all-knowing, he counts not their soul. Thrown into a sea bottom or shore our sins they are many his mercy is more praise the Mercy is more. 
seat. And Mary will come up and pray now. I think I lost all my strength. Let's bow in prayer. The heavens declare the glory of God. The skies proclaim the work of his hands. Day after day, they pour forth speech. Night after night, they reveal knowledge. They have no speech. They use no words. No sound is heard from them. Yet their voice goes out into all the earth and their words to the ends of the world. Let's just take a moment this morning. I just want you to praise or a sentence of praise or thanks just quietly in your heart. Tell God, how much you love him, how much you praise him. Father, there's so many things that we desire to bring to you this morning. Lord, you are a God who always hears and answers our prayers, and we praise you for that. Sometimes you answer them, not in the way we would want, but you answer them. We praise you that you were a God of in control. And Lord, as we think of the whole pandemic and, and those who are suffering right now with, with uh, the effects of COVID, Lord, I pray that your hand would be upon them. You are a God of mercy, just as we sang. Not only a mercy for our sins, but mercy for those who are ill. Lord, you are the healer. You said in your word that I am the God who heals. And so we lift up those who have been stricken with this, uh, with this disease. And we ask, oh God, that you would heal them. We ask too, Father, that you would... Uh, continue to touch Pastor Tim and his back that has been so painful these, this past week. We ask that you would strengthen him for the message that he brings today and that you would anoint him by the power of your Holy Spirit as the word goes forth. Father, I, I want to also lift up the <clears throat> for those uh, who are going back to school. Lord, we pray, Lord, as schools open and as um, teachers have a whole new um, avenue of ways to teach, Lord, we just pray for your grace and your mercy to be upon them. We pray that the students may cooperate. I know that many students are, are anxious to get back to school. And we pray, Father, that you would have your um, that they, the teachers and those administration may have wisdom in how to, um, to govern and how to uh, proceed this fall with this pandemic. We pray, Father, that your hand of mercy would be upon them to guard them from any further uh, furtherance of the, of the COVID-19. Lord, we also pray for the strobes as they uh, are desiring now to come, and we pray that very soon that they would be able to sell their house and that they would be able to come to join us. And Father, do a miracle there. Uh, houses may not be selling very fast in certain areas, but Lord, we just ask that you would do a miracle and that they would be able to sell their house and be able to come very soon to be with us. We pray for, for them as they begin their ministry here. And we ask that, Lord, you would uh, help us to make them feel welcome, but Lord, also that you would help them to be able to fit in and know their responsibilities and, and what they are going to do, Lord. Uh, sometimes I know we, we come in with great enthusiasm and we want to do so much, but Lord, 
I pray also that they would be able to uh, care for themselves and uh, be uh, fit in in a very perfect way. Lord, we pray, uh, too, for the ministries here at Dover, for the, the fall activities that will be beginning. We ask, Lord, that you would guide and direct. We know that things are going to be different this fall, but we pray that you would give those in leadership wisdom to know how to, uh, how to incorporate the activities that we want to begin in the fall, that you would uh, just uh, continue to give wisdom and discernment and insight. And Lord, we ask that you would um, glorify yourself. Father, we <clears throat> pray also for the elderly of our church, those who can't be with us. And we think of those especially at Prey Ridge, uh, Lord, who probably would love to come, but uh, cannot, and those at Landsmere. Lord, we just pray that you would uh, just guide them and help them to continue to uh, look to you, to find their relationship in you, to grow, even though they can't be with us. And Father, we, we pray that uh, you, the great God, would do wonderful things in our, in our midst. Lord, we are just so grateful that uh, we can pour all these requests before you. Lord, we don't know how you're going to answer, but we pray that our minds and our hearts might be sensitive to your Holy Spirit, that we might know that you are answering and that we can trust you to do what is good and right. Father, now I pray that our hearts might be open to the preaching of your word. Pray again for Pastor Tim. Lord, we ask that uh, the word of God that goes forth may not only go out into all the world through, through nature, but also the word of God that is given to us this morning. May it not just be knowledge, but Lord, I pray that our hearts might be open, that you would speak to each one of us in ways that you want us to grow. Father, all of these things we lay before you in Jesus' name. Amen.
the grace in his eyes if his grace is an ocean we're all sinking so heaven meets earth like an unforeseen kiss and my heart turns violently inside of my chest i don't have Last song we're doing today, it's called Lean Back. It's a new one to, to Dover, I believe, but um, I think it's just so beautiful in describing that sometimes the best thing we can do is just sit in the, the presence of the Lord with no distractions, no hurry, um, yeah, just being in his arms. So um, feel free to join us in singing this.
may be seated. Apparently the rest of you didn't get the memo of what the outfit was today. I want to highlight a couple of things real quick as we get started. And you can pray for my voice besides, because I don't know if it's the medication I'm taking, but it comes across feeling very hoarse. I've been doing all sorts of mints and herbal tea and all sorts of things. So, Anyways, ladies, on September 12th, there is a community-wide uh, conference taking place. It's been advertised on the website. We've had it posted on the announcements. There are some flyers in the foyer there. If you have any questions about this, you want to talk to this young lady right here. Uh, and uh, Carrie Valdez will help you know what's going on. This conference has been planned and put together by women from lots of different churches in Sioux County. Uh, and it's for the women of that broader a group, so I want to encourage you to consider that. Uh, on September 13th, it is our hope to offer a wider uh, range of things on a Sunday morning. We will be, it's our hope to have children's church available that Sunday, uh, along with Sunday school classes and a nursery, uh, in addition to a prayer gathering during the Sunday school, uh, there, we're hoping to provide th offer three adult classes, so you'll be getting more information on that. That'll kick in, we hope, on September 13th. Uh, also, young people in the over by the mailboxes is a registration for Awana, and I want to encourage you to grab one of those for yourself as well as maybe a friend that you think might want to go with you and get those turned in as quickly as you can. Now that I have the kids' attention, I'm going to give you, this is a two-part children's sermon. You need to listen so that you can accomplish both parts of the children's sermon so that you can then, if you bring your paper back to me at the end, I have a small bag of candy to bribe you with, I mean to give you, reward you with. If you were here last week, you may recall that at this time I mentioned how, how Ed Mortensen likes to participate in the children's sermons. I asked people, kids, to draw a picture of the story I told. When we gathered the pictures, Ed turned his in. An engineering degree has served him well as an artist. I'm telling you, I, I, it's a keeper. I have in my office what he drew with... Uh, paralyzed man coming down, so uh, perhaps we'll get it posted somehow so you can see I was quite impressed, and he's not even here to be encouraged by that. So, young people, on your piece of paper, on one side, you need to leave side two blank until we're in the sermon, but on side one, I want you to draw three trees. Now, here's what's important. None of those trees can be a pine tree. No pine.